Let's go to our regular meeting, okay? Thanks so much, Bye, everyone. Thanks, Bye. Guys. Yeah. See ya. Bye. Uh, approve the minutes from Jan February 9th. Thank you, Donna. I make a motion to approve as written. Second. Second, please. All in favor, say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. Okay, let's go over those applications. We can talk about, um, I don't think we need to vote on them again. We already did. We should just talk about the bucket allocations that we're gonna be asking at the town meeting. And I'll turn it over to Judy for that. Okay, uh, I recommend it to, to Brian that for the Hurlahi accessibility, we take 45,323 dollars from the open space bucket. I found out that we can in fact take recreation projects out of the open space budget. As um, well as? As well as open space projects. So, and, and the remaining $15,000 come from the CPA fund balance. Uh, Judy, could you just repeat the first number? 45323. Three. Thanks. And the cemetery improvements all from the CPA fund balance. It's 13, 530. And the pay down of the town hall? $67,292 from the CPA fund balance. And 49. 1,636 from the budgeted reserve. I can send you this later, Don. Uh, thanks, uh, but they're the numbers that are in the warrants, right? Yep. The warrants are post. The warrants are already posted, so I can. You don't have to. I can clip them. <laughs> and, and do we have the? And you guys may have gone through this already, and I apologize. Do, you, um, do we have the remaining balance after those funds are removed? from each of the tranches? Yeah, you should have a memo. Okay. Actually, I, you, it's, it's with the agenda for tonight's meeting at CPA funding proposals for the special town meeting. Okay. <laughs> second. Um, Judy, is it, do you wanna, do you wanna, I, I have them to screen share, which of your, do you wanna look at the handout or the proposed next year? The hand, well, he's asking, I guess, is that what you want? The, the, what's left? And I mean, because I, I think people are going to want to know. It's right that. there. It's right there, John. And that's that's post withdrawal, correct? Yeah. Well, that's that's what's available. If you go to the next, if you go to the next page, the other document. Um, isn't it the second page of that? The, or maybe it's the other document. I think it's the other document. Okay. Hang on, I was so impressed that I did that correctly. Now let me find the other one. <laughs> you know, and, and I guess the, the, the point of this is so that, that the public knows that there's still, we're not, we're not the, the, the well is not running dry with, with these actions, that, that there's mm -hmm. healthy balances in each of the sections. And then our new, we'll have more funding as the new physical year comes in too, right? Right. That's what Donna is sharing now is the new funding. So. I, yeah, I well, think, that's the allocations. I'm sorry, there right. is another document that these are I the can, two. Yeah, these are the two that were attached to the minutes. The two I've yeah. got. Um, there's another document that I sent to Brian with the. I don't remember seeing one the, that had the current balances, Donna. I or Judy, I didn't have too long to prep for this meeting, like uh, three minutes, but I didn't see, I didn't one see that. it either, Judy. Okay, yeah. it, it you was can, in, Judy, a, it you was can, in you can, Feb February 15th, I can. You can screen share if it's on your computer. I, I'm I, not from the iPad, I can't, it's I'm not. I'm not from the iPad, no. Sorry, sorry. no. Um, okay. Let me, what we would have left. It February 15th, Judy, I can take a quick look. She can just tell us. 
Yeah. It's, it was a memo to Brian about recommendations for. Oh yeah, I see it. Um, Do you have Zoom set up so anyone can share, Donna? Yes. All right, as soon as I scan it, hold on. <laughs> Love technology. Yeah. Did I mention we should be meeting in person? <laughs> we should. We just pass a piece of paper around. Then I would. Then I would be running into the other room to make copies. <laughs> Donna, Donna, if we met in person, we wouldn't have had the turnout we'd had for the hearing. So come on. There you go. There is That's that. right. There is that. Okay. Now go to the second page, Catherine, if you can. Okay. There you go. There you go. So, so the, oh, now I see. Yeah. Okay, great. Right. You've got the column in here for the debt repayment. Oh, that's post allocation in the far right. Okay, that's right. Funds as of the middle so column, sure. the third from the right is the funds that would be there at the end of the fiscal year. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right here. Mm -hmm. But then and we have the ones that we want. Is, Yep. So the only one yes. that's really that's really shy is is the historic preservation and there's obvious reasons for that because of the town hall project right right you know even open space which we've done a lot with over the last couple of years it's it's you know it, it's it, it's not on on the zero door well there's there's the budgeted reserve and the cpa fund balance you know together or like one hundred fifty thousand dollars. So no, I think it's it's very healthy, and that's what that's what I I, I like to show. That's and why nothing's going to come. That's why yeah. we thought we could do the pay down this year. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. You're welcome. Here you go. How much money is in the trust fund for the housing? Fifty. Hundred plus. And another 17 or something. Yeah. Yeah. I think the, yeah. So it was like two allocations in total were 115 and then it's gotten a good amount of interest or maybe it was 117 plus there's, interest. There's One of those. Yeah. There's 92 yeah. in the history in the housing bucket right now. Yeah. It's going to go into one. I mean, you know, if, and when we get there, it, it. Yeah. It seems a like a lot of money. I know it's probably not when it comes to housing, but Two hundred thousand dollars sitting there. Well, and and I'm still, and and maybe it's 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 a lack of knowledge that's driving this, but I still have my eye on those two lots at the end, you know, right around the corner from the South Florist um, that are vacant, and and one's really dilapidated, it, but one's in pretty good shape. Uh, you know, it's it's walking distance to five ten for a bus route. Um, it, it, it's not being utilized land right now. So it's assets that we're not taking advantage of. If, if there was- I'd be happy to talk to Hannah. I mean, I brought that parcel, those parcels up like four years ago and we made a couple, I know you probably have heard that. We made a couple of contacts, you know, since I walked down there a few times a week, the house now is in substantially worse condition than it was. It's a hazard should my cranky teenager decide to do what he says and like go try to get into it at some point. <laughs> he would probably get killed but anyway um Catherine you're talking it, about the, the first one as you walk down that street not the second yeah the one that has the incredibly old rv or like yeah. volkswagen that house is like but the other one the, the porch has fallen off you can see straight through some of the wall like through the wall through the studs through the windows they're both beyond repair i now the owner, someone could probably help me of that end parcel that has the farm who also is in Hatfield and does the pumpkins. I, mm -hmm. I always forget his name. Melnowski. Eddie Melnowski. That's right. I had occasion to talk to him one time when I was down there with the dogs over the summer. And I said, you know, the housing committee would really like to use this street for some, um, affordable housing project and he was like oh well i really want to rehab this house you know some historic family who were potters lived here and 
you know, that is a lovely idea, but that house is way too far gone to be able to preserve it in any way. Like, I wasn't going to say that to him, but um, we, we don't have, it, it would be really a lot of work to get access to, to these parcels. Like, if we could get site control, mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, I wish Hannah was still here. When, when we ever get to reconvene, I'll talk to Hannah about this now that there's a staff person who can expend some energy on projects and um, to sort of go over the steps of who to talk to. Um, also, whether or not we could build anything. I don't know how much you know, Jonathan, about, I asked Lynn Sibley when I first thought of those parcels six or seven years ago. And she said, well, that's in close enough to the well that you might have issues with any new construction there that would have housing attached to it. Yeah. Well, and if, if they haven't been occupied for a long time, they may not even have septic systems. Right, I mean, of course. The house next to us sold eight years ago, it, the first septic system ever was installed at that point. Yeah, that's yeah. that happened to yeah. me as well. Yeah. That yeah. um Mike, and the assessors Mike, the assessor's okay. map now has a flood flood map layer on it. You can look right. at individual yeah. parcels and it's all wetlands behind that one that first property. It's all right. so it, it would uh, net perk. That's the problem. Yeah. Well, there are lots of um creative solutions that some of the rural communities have used for trying to get perks like it would be worth a little bit of site a little bit of expense to talk to someone about that and about having a perk not done in the back but potentially even I mean I don't know where the state-owned land is you know on the other side of the road there's a fence adjacent to the highway and I don't know if any of the points right where you know um Dan drives into the fields if like a septic one of those above ground septics could be put in as long as we didn't disturb the road for him um there's some potential for that kind of stuff but all it takes someone a lot of time to manage and um get through whether or not an above ground system would even be allowed that near the water table like I don't I don't know how to even that just near the there the mill river too would be in the 200 foot setback it'd be a lot of wetland not even just the wetland but the river the river and setbacks too you're hitting that yeah there's a lot of setback issues and Con so and what, to get involved obviously yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I just the other side of that is you don't want assets sitting there rotting away I don't understand why these people, they're still paying their taxes, right? They're paying those, I think those parcels were current. When we looked a few years ago, now probably pre-COVID at least, we, people were current on their taxes. Fred looked for us. Um, I'm not sure if it's still that, that way. Uh, when we were trying to talk to the landowner of that first parcel, they were really not interested in selling but they were also elderly and having some health problems. So I'm not even sure if they're still living. Um, but it's, it's once we start talking a little as a committee, we'll, I'll, I'll send Hannah in the right direction for over there. It is a nice spot to do something if like these 15 setback related hurdles it will be expensive because the site costs are going to be a lot of money because of having to build a septic. But um, that that's the way all the projects when I worked at my other job were. Site costs were a huge obstacle. And that's why all our money would go into one project because we would probably have to cover a lot of the site costs. Catherine, are, who's chairing the housing committee now? I don't think we've even decided. Hannah you to, has gotten a you new have to group. call a meeting in order to, as to as elect a chair. Yep. Words. As far yeah. as I know, we haven't, yeah, convened um, or started that process. So to be honest, I'm kind of sitting and waiting because I really haven't had the, you know, the I had seven minutes to sit and breathe between getting home and turning on the computer. So uh, I haven't really been up for being in charge of anything along those lines. Just Catherine, yet. then another thing for the committee, um, I discovered that Leverett has a um, 
down yeah. payment assistance program. Right. I've Which, reviewed the specs for that. Um, ours would be substantially more expensive, I think, to meet the similar guidelines because the prices for housing in Waitley to get them to meet affordable levels would be substantially more. Um, but that rural development oversees that program. And so we'd have someone to talk to about it. In the old version of the housing committee there, I was the only person interested in doing a program of any type. Everyone else only wanted to do construction projects. So nobody listened to me while I talked about it. But next, next with the new committee, I have some potential to talk about a program. Um, but I, that all my discussion about that was dead in the water. I, I do think though, that it might be really cost prohibitive. Like all, the $200,000 that we have now would at best serve two people to buy, you know, two individual houses. I think our buy down would have to be more than a hundred to get the prices down to affordable levels. So that's the biggest, um, yeah, obstacle there, right? Doesn't have to be the whole buy down, does it? It has to get. Let me think well, for a I, minute. I don't mean to. We don't. Yeah, um, we we're getting into too many details, but I want right. to make sure you knew that there was not a housing thing. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't vote those those buckets, did we? Oh, no. Thank you, Judy. I can try. Or, or the fiscal 23 allocations. Make a motion, Jude. Well, the allocations, I'm assuming 180,000 like this year, which I hope is an underestimate. And the, the bucket allocations are the standard 5%, 10% remainder to budgeted reserve. So anyway, I move that we do approve the buckets as we outlined before for the special town meeting. I second, second that. All in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed. For the, for the fiscal 23 allocations, if we vote them tonight, we don't have to meet again before annual town meeting, as pleasant as this is. Um, <laughs> So it would be 9,000 to Here. administrative expenses, 18,000 to each of the three buckets, and 117,000 to the budgeted reserve. Questions, comments? Yeah. We'll second the motion. All in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed? Unanimous. Thank you very much, Judy. And also, Judy, I want to thank you for sending uh, the article to the newspaper. I'm sorry that they didn't quite print the whole thing because you did send a nice press release. Um, well, they did get a blurb in anyway, but it didn't they did get a blurb in. Uh, well, what, it just what, shows we do such nice. a good job. Everybody trusts us. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know if everybody saw the article about Whateley Woods, Whateley Center Woods. Um, unfortunately, $60,000 came from donations, <laughs> not from the CPC in the article. Yeah, that was really annoying. It was, it was, but you know, if you don't get annoyed at newspapers then you're not reading a newspaper. In fact, I'll co confess, I had a, a, a letter since the Gazette will print anything. I had my, I was about to send a letter to the Gazette clarifying that and I thought, oh, I'm sure Judy's already done it. <laughs> No, I didn't. <laughs> but I didn't have the, I mean, and then I, I mean, and then neither of us did it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is a shame. It was a good article. Yeah. Sometimes if you email the reporter, you can get it fixed on the online version, even if it's not in the, huh. too late yeah. to fix the paper. Uh, well, well it, also, it, also, it also didn't give credit to the fact that Waitley residents contributed, I think it was thirty-five dollars or $40,000 oh. in total, you know, <sighs> over and above the CP. Oh. Money. Yeah, but I mean, honestly, if anybody's shocked that the paper gets stuff wrong, I know yeah, it's. No, I, I totally agree. No, I think that was Kestrel. My, my I think it was Kestrel, Kestrel, Kestrel Land Trust had a change in staffing. Uh, I, think, I think that's probably the way their release read. Yeah. All right, I'll 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 I'll, I'll take back my comment then. 
Well, you're you're right, but you're wasn't, right. That the, wasn't I, the problem in this case. <laughs> I go through spells where I will not look at it. I get to too irate and then I have to not look at it to until I can be calm again. <laughs> well, I will be Pollyanna-ish and say it is there are so many parts of this country, including major cities that have nothing like a local newspaper that <laughs> you're right. It's absolutely <laughs> wanna, true. I, I should support it. <laughs> to be more supportive no. than I am. Like Pittsburgh this. doesn't have a local newspaper anymore. <laughs> no. Well, yeah. the other side of that is that it's because nobody reads the newspaper. So, I mean, it's supply and demand. Mm. Oh. Maybe I'm old fashioned, but I read two of them every day. I read three. Yeah, more old fashioned. <laughs> I, I read them, but I won't say which ones I read. <laughs> okay, anything else from you guys? Everybody's happy? Yeah. Town meetings, March 23rd. Is it going to be on Zoom too, John? I, oh, it's going to be live. It has to be live. Yeah, but don't you have to do Zoom as well? Yeah, I, I think, well, I don't know that we have to, Judy, but I, it, I it, it will be live. But people can't vote remotely, right? Not vote remotely, no. No. Mm -hmm. I will be out of town um, again that week. So I apologize, but I will not be in attendance. Is there anything controversial on the warrant? No, the only other things are to library. It, it, looks, it, it looks like the library renovation is already $21,000 over budget. Yeah. That's how I read it. I, I, I think the controversies are going to be around the budget. I, every, everything is really high. Yeah, but not on March 23rd. Oh, no, not on March 23rd. I'm sorry. I, no, was, I, don't, I, think, I, was, I don't think there's was, going to be any problem. I was pushing that to June, our, or to June. I apologize. <laughs> I think it's just the three CPA warrants and two additional funding. Yeah allocations for the library renovation it, it's it, it'll go smoothly some of the library stuff is just moving from one bucket to another from one pocket to another it's not all additional good some of it is i guess as they open some up of it is. and open up things they're discovering additional work mm -hmm. which usually happens with a renovation project this size <clears throat> okay um I will let you everybody know if we get any applications for our June Tuesday deadline. Otherwise. So no, no next meeting in these minutes because we don't know. No. Right. Nope. Okay. April, May, June. Yep. Okay. So we need to send out, remember in May to send out a notice to the committees yep. about that. About the, uh, the deadline. It's a long way away. Where are you going, Kat? <laughs> I gotta go pick up my son. He's texting now. He's ready. Blah blah blah. Welcome to mom's taxi service. Uh, if you gotta go, we're all gonna go. Take care. All right. Thanks, you guys. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.